Good evening, everyone. My name is Stephen Doetsu Snyder. I'll be teaching tonight for Rick as he's on vacation, as I understand it. And I want to thank him for inviting me back. I always enjoy the time I spend with this group. So tonight we're going to start with um, a little information, and then I'm going to do a guided meditation. And the way I do guided meditations is it works the best if you don't necessarily try to duplicate what I'm describing, but just let yourself be guided along. So sort of like if you were in laying in a comfortable rowboat in a very uh, nice soft place and just allowing me to guide that boat uh, down the stream. So just it's a time to relax and just let yourself follow where we're going. And what I'll do is we're going to start with a a practice I have called I am not practice. Uh, this I started when uh, about 20 years ago in my own practice, as I mentioned, I've been meditating just short of 50 years. And so I began trying this out with students and found it was uh, very helpful to a number of students. So I've started using it. And this will be a call and response where I'll say a line and keeping your mics off, you'll just repeat the line out loud where you are. And then I'll guide us into a heart meditation called innate goodness meditation, which is in my books, uh, Buddha's heart and demystifying awakening. And then I will go from there leading us to contact with the absolute, which is the source in Buddhism, the source of all universes, all reality. And within the absolute, there's two primary functions. The first is the unmanifest, which is the source of the source. And that's characterized most particularly by a quality of absence, what sometimes is called emptiness in Buddhism. And it also has qualities such as peacefulness and stillness. And the other function of the absolute has pure love in it, a presence, so a here-ness, a beingness quality of the absolute. And then finally, pure awareness, which is direct awareness. And the difference is we can have awareness where we make contact with something, and then we, we go to our file cabinet and our, we try to find whatever experience we've had in the past or concept we have, which uh, identifies as closely as possible to what our experience is. And with pure awareness, there's no concept. There's just direct experience of awareness meeting whatever the object is. And there's no historical reference. So we know it based on our contact with it. So let's go ahead and get started with that. <clears throat> so go ahead and seat yourself in your meditation posture. Start with four or five nice, big, deep belly breaths, really filling your belly, lungs, your diaphragm, all the way down to genitals, and then release as much of that air as possible. This lets us both orient to this moment in time and place, and also lets us take our seat in meditation. Feel your contact with the ground, the support of the building you're in holding you in this moment. And if you can sense it, Mother Earth beneath, holding each of us, offering us, nour offering us nourishment and support in this moment. As I mentioned, this first practice we'll do is called I am not. 
And again, I'll just repeat some lines and you repeat them back to me with your mics off. So first line, I am not my appearance. I am not my body. I am not my thoughts. I am not my life history. I am not my behavior. I am not my emotions. I am not my memories. I am not anything. So start by bringing awareness to the heart area. We're not looking to be in contact just with the muscle of the heart, but to the energetic area around the heart. And what we're wanting to do is make contact with the quality of the absolute, the source within our consciousness. And the absolute within our consciousness I call true nature. So we're making contact with a heart quality of true nature. And this is called innate goodness. So we're not fabricating, we're not inventing, creating. Anything that comes from the absolute is unconditioned. Unconditioned means it has no birth, decay, or death. It always is in existence and always will be. So we're making contact with a quality of goodness in our heart area. That's not personal, it's universal. And like standing in a mountain stream as we walk in, we may make the water a little muddy from our steps. And we just stand still here in this clear water, letting that mud and dirt settle to the bottom, where then we can see, make contact with what's already here, which is our innate goodness. If you're a visual meditator, meaning if I tell you to picture a three-story brick house and you can see it in your mind's eye, you're a visual meditator. If that's not a skill you have, then you're what I call a felt sense meditator. And that we're feeling, we're sensing what it felt like. So in this meditation, we are drawing upon a memory of being with another being. It can be ourself, it can be uh, an infant, uh, a pet, some people use nature itself, or even idealized figures from your faith tradition. And we're wanting to either picture that being exhibiting innate goodness, or recalling the felt sense of being in the proximity of that individual that experience of nature or idealized religious figure. And we're holding that in our heart area, breathing in, letting awareness just make contact with our innate goodness. Innate goodness can be experienced as a kind of radiance, a flow, kind of a sweet okayness. Something that has a buoyancy and a lightness. And we can tell when we make contact because there's just a little bit of a, a pleasantness that comes into our experience. And being a quality of true nature, we don't need to earn it. 
nor can we lose it. It's always here. So let yourself just settle into the heart area, making contact with your innate goodness, the sweetness, the buoyancy, the lightness of your innate goodness. We'll just sit with the innate goodness for a few minutes and then I'll continue. As you make contact with your innate goodness, let your awareness relax into innate goodness, like floating in a pool or pond. Just let awareness open and relax into your innate goodness. It may feel like a warm summer breeze, a freshness, a flow, a radiance, a sense of okayness. As you're making contact with innate goodness, you may notice a quality of light, of brightness in your experience. This is a quality of the manifest absolute, the pure love. And for those who are visual meditators, pure love generally presents like a big, white, fluffy cloud. The purest, whitest white you've ever seen. It just feels like love when you see it, or for the felt sense meditators, when you feel, make contact with the pure love. feels very inviting, welcoming, encompassing in a warm, fluffy way. As we make contact with this white, fluffy cloud of love, we just relax. We try to minimize any doing and we just be with the love that's here. This is a love that is welcoming of all. Nothing is rejected. Nothing is excluded from this love. Every part of who you are, who you take yourself to be, 
is perfectly loved. There's nothing you've ever done that will minimize this love. It's always here. Let your awareness go a little deeper into that white, fluffy brightness of love, into the white, beautiful cloud of light. Relaxing any form of identity, relaxing any way you know yourself in this moment. We want to surrender to the pure love and let ourselves be held and nourished by this beautiful love. Notice if there's any areas in your body or consciousness in which you're experiencing any kind of tightness or contraction. If it's possible to loosen or open that tightness or contraction just a little, go ahead and do that now and let this pure love make contact with what's being held. Relax a little more deeply, letting go of any sense of identity, any way you know yourself. Just be completely open. Be willing to rest in not knowing who you are. As we make contact and rest in this beautiful, pure love, it also begins to heal our heart any places of wounding, any contractions, any shame or guilt is welcomed by this magnificent love. Let yourself be held in this moment. Relax any doing. Just be with this beautiful love. Again, if you notice any places of tightness or holding, see if you can relax those just a little. 
This would also include any holding or contraction of identity. You find a holding and the sense is, this is me. Try relaxing that holding just a little in this moment and let the pure love of the absolute contact the sense of me. You may also notice that within this perfectly bright white cloud of love, there's a sense of presence, of a kind of here-ness, an immediacy of this moment. If you're in contact with that sense, let it land in your experience, the impactful here-ness, now -ness of the absolute. Relax a little more. Loosen any sense of control, any doing in your meditation. Just let yourself be right here, resting in the pure love and presence of the Absolute. You may find thoughts quieting, kind of inner stillness present to there's no need to find the thought. Everything is just right in this very moment. Let go of any holding you find. Let go of any doing. Let go of any identity that's here in this moment. Just be the love and presence that's always here.
If you're seeing any habits of mind, if you're getting snagged by any patterns, try to let go of those just a little and orient yourself to the pure love, the pure presence of the absolute in your true nature. See if you can relax a little more, release any tension or tightness that you have find, and open to the deep, pure love and the profound hearness of the presence of the Absolute.
Let yourself relax into the deep silence that's here. <laughs> 